In 2013, the Channel Islands agreed to a package of tax measures with the UK. And there are two key parts to this package. The first is an agreement very similar to the FATCA agreement signed with the US under which Channel Islands financial institutions will automatically report to the UK tax information in relation to assets, structures and investments held by UK residents in the Channel Islands. And second, what's referred to as a disclosure facility which is basically a mechanism to enable UK residents who have investments in the Channel Islands to settle any outstanding historic UK tax liabilities before that automatic reporting starts in 2016. Now, there are a number of benefits to those disclosure facilities. They allow for a streamlined process to settle outstanding liabilities with HMRC. There are fixed penalties and interest, and the taxpayer is able to settle their affairs with greater certainty. Where structures have been in place for many years, or where the original circumstances have changed, this can be an attractive way for UK residents to bring their tax affairs up to date. Now, over the course of 2014 and 2015, Channel Islands financial institutions will be reviewing their client base as a consequence of this uh, reporting regime. And this provides an ideal opportunity to consider whether the original planning is still valid, or if changes mean there are now technical flaws. Where there are, those disclosure facilities offer an efficient way of rectifying them. KPMG can assist local businesses in that process. Our tax expertise and experience enable us to identify where there may be problems and our specialist team in the UK can assist trustees and directors in using those disclosure facilities to get the best settlement for the client. This means the financial institutions can enter the new automatic reporting regime with less concern about inquiries from HMRC for them and for their clients.